Hi, my name is Jan Kemis. I'm one of the organizers of the Beer Experience, which is a new festival in Heusden-Zolder, Limburg, in Belgium. And, um, well, we're holding this festival for the first time this year because um, we think there's like a gap here and we want to prove that Belgian beer, uh, beer world is actually doing well. Uh, in my humble opinion, I think we're coming, coming back from a little, little dip uh, with a lot of nice breweries disappearing. But now we're on the up again and we want to show the audience um, that beer is alive. And besides that, we, we thought it was a good idea to make it a whole experience. So we added uh, food pairings, master classes, uh, live music, uh, an exhibition of, of big beer labels, etc. To, to make the whole experience uh, complete. How many was the founders and how did you come up with this idea? I mean, with music and hair in kind of a... You know, it's not in the main festival sites. No, no. So you took a big risk. What's your backgrounds and what brought you together? Uh, well, basically, we're just a bunch of friends. Well, well, not just because friendship is very important, but and and we're beer lovers. Well, what else do you expect? Um, and our background is that we're uh, quite experienced in the in the music business. So we know how to deal with a festival, but musically, the beer thing is completely new for us so um, well this whole thing obviously started at in a pub at the bar uh, <laughs> where so many good ideas uh, start and um, so we just thought it was an, a, a nice thing to do um, but being coming from the music business where we where we hold a quite big festival we we Pick were the yes it's pick up pop is, is, is the name um, we were quite ambitious in, in doing this. Um, myself, I'm an architect, so I'm, I'm very, very happy with the location where we are. Yeah, it's fantastic it, and old. And just describe it to us, it's an old mine. Well, we are an old mining uh, complex where, where in, the, in the old days, uh, charcoal was, uh, was dug out uh, of the ground. Um, and these buildings were beautifully uh, restored. So it's a museum, by the way. So the beer lovers are, are, are experiencing the museum as well. It's also part of the experience uh, here. Yeah, it's so quite beautiful. Walking yeah, around old machinery and stuff. exactly. So we've we've put the we've put the stands of the of the different breweries in between the machines. And we asked them not to bring any flags or banners or anything, and we made we made them all very quite modest uh, stalls where they where they are. So so they're all equal, and and it, it just uh, it's just nice to experience the the the, old, the spaces. Um, so so that's an that's an extra plus. For uh, the first day, which was yesterday, and today is the second day. Yeah. What was the reaction? Was it as many people as you thought? Was mm. it, did it meet your expectations? Well, to be honest, it, it's so so difficult the first time. Uh, it's all new to. We didn't know what to expect. Coming from COVID, it's another thing. You know, when we were in the middle of this organization, it was still code red. So there was n there was no festival allowed uh, so we were lucky in that sense that things got better um, so we were very modest in our expectations but yesterday was better than we expected we had about a thousand three hundred people here uh, if you know that a thousand five hundred is sold out then then there's nothing that we can say that that we're happy um, Today I'm not sure. We'll see. Maybe some people show up, but we expect about a thousand to to one thousand one hundred people, um, which would be great again. Uh, and for the style of the breweries and all that, how do you characterize it? You have quite a mix of craft brewers, you know, yeah. Alvin and <laughs> you know, and uh, Atrium, and of course Du yeah. uh, Maastricht and uh, <laughs> Surrealist, all, all, the all of them. Beer, and then yeah. you have it mixed in with a bunch of more traditional brewers. What was the thinking behind that? 
Um, we wanted to show beer in all its aspects. Um, so we want the beer geek to be definitely found nice things. So, so we have a qu quite a few nice names like Antidot, Chien Bleu from Switzerland. We have Poppels from Sweden. Um, uh, the La Sombre was here. Um, well, Butcher's Tears. I mean, great beers for, for the beer geek. But then again, we also wanted to like convince people that are not that, that much into beer. And, and so we invited good brewers that are more locally uh, and some, some of them more traditionally brewing the, the traditional beers. And I think the mix of all, all of them will, will hopefully uh, allow everyone to find something that he or she enjoys. So are you getting ready for next year? You have to start planning. Uh, we set the date to give you a secret, so we were quite optimistic. Um, so the date's there, um, but obviously we need to we need to chat about it after the festival, uh, figure things out, um, and see. And this is you think around this time is great for your festival? Yeah, not yeah. A lot of uh, other festivals around this time. There's a few. There's a very nice one next week. So, yeah. so, so. That's what I mean. It's not on the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, no, no. We, if we do it again, then it's the same date next year. Um, and how many people organize it? You talk about a bunch of friends getting together. Yeah, it's eight of us. Eight of you. Eight of us. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck and much thanks for this wonderful festival. It's oh. a really great addition. <laughs> to the beer calendar in Belgium. All right, thank you. And good luck. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Cheers, bye-bye. <laughs>